Today we're sharing awareness on SMA, also known as spinal muscular atrophy. Now, this condition is dear to my heart for a lot of different reasons, but I want to explain more about this condition because most people are unaware of what this condition is. Now, it's a very rare condition, affects one in every 10,000 kids. There's various types of it, some more severe than others, but it affects the motor neurons. So these motor neurons are essentially what allow you to do a voluntary muscle contraction. And so when those connections are lost, the body doesn't get that information as well. And so what happens is the muscle atrophy and weakens and it makes it harder for you know a kid to gain muscle, to gain skills, developmental milestones because of that weakness. And so when we think about this, this is very debilitating, especially early on when it's so important to get those motor neurons to fire, whereas the condition is not allowing for them. Now, there's a lot of new treatment interventions, research, uh, medications, but a big part of it is from a PT standpoint, what do we do as physical therapists to help? Now, again, because it affects the way the muscles are activating, our job is to help with reactivating that muscle in some sense, right? So it's so, so important when you're thinking about these conditions, uh, you know, especially SMA is using physical therapy to help with reintegrating the brain to the body as a way to reconnect to the muscle to get more of that strength. Now. It's just a remarkable story for me because there's a case that I was glad to have been a part of uh, with my close friend, close colleague, Jared Carter with his twin babies. And typically the type that they have, they don't make it past their two year old birthday. Now they're five and a half years old with a lot of the physical therapy, a lot of the research that he's been doing, a lot of uh, the medications, the different things that they've done specifically to help this condition. So. If, you uh you or a loved one or you know a friend that has uh sma these are things that are possible uh with this condition and so um just ultimately wanting to spread awareness i know uh, people can lose hope but these babies are the the example and and should be something to look up to in regards to what can be possible with those with sma and so what I'm going to do right now is we'll have the link below. Um, there's still a lot of research that's going on that Jared's a part of. Um, I have the link below to the GoFundMe page. I'll have a link to his website specifically to show and guide y'all. If you have any questions on it, he'd be the best person to educate you more on it. But today we're just shedding light on it. And I hope that this is able to affect uh, more people that uh, have loved ones or have SMA. Good job.